So over here we have this slider view. Of course, just now, now we just see a text over here, which you can see. Well, as we want to work with the images and make an image slider using Swift UI, so first we need to go ahead and declare images. So let's go ahead and do that. Now I have this three images in my assets folder, so you should have the same or any kind of images that you are following with. Now the images are inside this assets folder, as you can see, welcome one, two, three, like that, okay? Now since we wanna show images actually, and we wanna tap on them, and it's going to be a slider, so we need to go ahead and implement tab view but of course the tab view will not going to use it directly we're going to use it inside vstack and inside this we'll have tab view now since uh, we don't have any content over here so it's all empty and everything has gone now we'll, we're going to show three images and for this reason we are going to use a for loop we're going to use for each loop for each now inside this we'll start from zero and it has to be less than three, so zero, one, two. And then we're going to declare a variable. So variable name is i, and then we do in. Now inside this, we're gonna use image view. And our list name is images, so we get that one. And inside this, we go through using our variable, the variable we just declared. And it looks like we have a type over here, so let's go ahead and fix that. Now over here, the arrow is gone. Now we do see that we already have images showed up here. And after that, actually we wanna do resizable. So with this it would look better. But of course we have problems with this image areas. Now let's go ahead and try to tap. Of course we won't be able to tap yet. Let's go ahead and set up some style for this. So first one we would do tab view, tab view style, this one. And inside this, we'll apply page tab view style, page tab view style. Now it already looked much better, it got bigger. Now we can already slide through them, as you can see. And we also see the dots over here, but behind the dots, actually, we want to create a circular background. And for this reason, we're going to invoke in index view style function. So over here we do index view style now inside this we're gonna call page index view page index view style and inside this we're gonna set background mode now background mode will set it to always now with this we are seeing that over here we already have this background over here and which is beautiful all right now we can tap through left and right no problem now, if you see at the top over here and at the bottom over here, actually we have some empty spaces, top and bottom. So how to work with this thing? Now, to be able to work with this thing, actually we need to work on two places. Now, first one is over here, our VStack. So right after VStack over here, we would do ignore safe area, but on its own alone, actually it's not going to work. We also have to uh, put ignore safe area with our image. So over here we do this one one more time. And with this you can see now it took completely the whole screen. And we can verify that like this. Let's go and tap like this. So it's the complete screen that it took. Great. Now one thing, if you don't use resizable, actually it won't look good. You can just remove that and you see that uh, it doesn't really take or ignore the safe area it, it becomes a little weird so with resizable actually it will take the complete available space okay so we must do that even if you do ignore safe area but you don't tell it to take the whole space it's not going to work so with resizable you are telling it take all the complete available space ignore safe area creates more area but you need to tell it using resizable great now, so far we can tap on this using uh, or tapping, right? But we wanna do it automatically and how to do that. Now, for this reason, actually at the top, we need to declare a variable and actually that would be a timer. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we do public let timer 
and uh, we'll get the timer object and from it we would do publisher so we'd publish our timing and we are saying that okay every three seconds later run the loop and run the loop on main thread okay and then you are good to go and over here in general you want to set common now with this the timer is ready now the timer has to be connected with a variable which maintains states and that state would also connect with our tab view now let's go ahead and do that over here we'll create a state variable and uh, it would be private variable and over here we would say ver and we'll call it selection zero you can call it anything you want now we are connecting this value with this tab view so let's go ahead and do that over here we'll have selection now here we'll bind selection variable the one that we created now with this this variable okay so with this the selection variable and tab view index they would be together it's more like that we are binding so if we change this variable value the tab view the image it shows you it would be changed automatically based on this value so inside this actually we have a value right so for the first tab view actually we have a hashable tag for the second one we also have hashable for the third one we also have a hashable value that value and this value actually they would match if they match actually we would be able to change it dynamically now to be able to work with this we need to create uh, we need to use this on receiver so go ahead and do that on receiver takes a publisher so what is our publisher the one that we created timer and over here for perform actually we need to tell how to perform this thing I mean what do you want it to do it will run after every three seconds now with this on receipt this on receiver you have this publisher publisher is connecting with a timer so over here it wants you to do something and how to do you need to tell it now we want to tell it something so we want to tell it okay go ahead and do an animation and for this we'll pass this animation function which is with animation with this we are going to attach an animation but as the animation runs inside the body section actually we are going to change this value now with this we are going to change the value of selection and how to do that actually we are going to do it using a ternary operator so what is the ternary operator would do it will check if the value is less than three or not if it is less than three then it's going to add one to it otherwise it would set the value to zero so over here we check if it is less than three okay whatever the value is there add one with this otherwise which means that if it is equal to three or more than three set it to zero now at the beginning the value would be zero right so when it comes down to here first time it is zero it is less than zero so for the second loop actually it would run this one and it would, the value would be increased by one already now even if we did that but it's not working why not because over here there is another function that actually we can call which is called auto connect let's go ahead and do that and if you do that you will see that the animation would run automatically so now it's running automatically so that's how you go ahead and create a image slider using swift ui